They're spreading at alarming rates and catching global health systems off guard. Old diseases are making a comeback and new threats are emerging. It's left health authorities with a warning. The world may be unprepared for the next pandemic. A new virus is testing Nigeria's health system. Lassa fever, which spreads after contact with infected rat urine, has killed 110 people so far this year. Cases of measles, a disease all but eliminated in the United Kingdom as of 2016, have quadrupled in Europe as vaccination rates fall across the continent. The 2013 West African Ebola crisis claimed more than 11,000 lives. Contracted through contact with infected blood and other bodily fluids, Ebola spread quickly because of how dead bodies are handled in West African tradition. And limited infrastructure can find people to towns and villages suffering from outbreaks. In an era of international travel, a deadly virus can be carried over thousands of miles in a matter of hours to packed cities where epidemics spread like wildfire. Rapid environmental change wreaked by human activity has brought animals into closer contact with people, accelerating the spillover of animal pathogens into human populations. The cost of a global pandemic can be as great as 3.5 trillion US dollars. The 2003 SARS outbreak saw fewer than 800 deaths, but cost the global economy $54 billion in lost trade, transportation disruption, and healthcare costs. We must re reverse the trend in global health, where we wait for the fire to flare up, run to put it out, but then forget to fireproof the building. Ambitious projects that detect and respond to emerging pathogens can help contain outbreaks, but cuts to aid for science research have cast doubt over their sustainability. And some governments remain reluctant to invest in things now that might save lives later. We don't know what will happen, but it's a high enough chance uh, that one of the lessons of Ebola should be to ask ourselves, are we as ready for that as we should be? Economists say the cost of preventing an epidemic would be a fraction of the cost of battling a global pandemic. Is it time for governments to rethink global health policy before it's too late?